Hi, this is Brent with Production Expert. Today I've got my hands on Vocaline Ultra and I'm going to be showing you how I can use it quickly and effectively using Studio One's ARA integration to tune the rhythm and also the pitch alignment of this piece of music. Let's take a listen to what we currently have. So as we heard there, the vocals are a little bit out of time. They're pan hard left and right, but the one on the right, I believe, is slightly ahead of the left. We're talking milliseconds here, but all of these things add up to really make something sound a professional recording and a professional mix, because all of your editing decisions are equally as important as all of the mixing decisions. So let's have a listen to the two on their own. So it's a lot more obvious when you have them soloed. So if you have all these things tight and a lot more aligned, the finished product is overall way, way better. So with the ARA integration, we can either add the insert down here or I have it set up to a key command, shift and V, and then I'm going to drag my vocal onto the guide and I'm going to use the top one as the guide. Same thing for this channel below, drag this into the dub. And straight away, it's actually processed the output, which is here. So as we can see, the blue analyzed material is what it's lined the dub up to the guide. Let's have a listen when it's done straight away, because really all I've done here is literally just drag them in. Pretty magical stuff, if you ask me. The fact that really we've not had to actually do anything there just shows how sophisticated the algorithm and what's going on under the hood is happening here with Vocaline Ultra. But it doesn't stop there. We can keep going and we can adjust things like the timing so we have them a little bit loose because sometimes when you don't have things exactly on the beat, depending on the genre you're working in, you can start to get a little bit more of a natural feel. So I'm actually going to back off the actual timing and uh, we have it in maximum compression mode. I'm going to leave it in that for now. We also have this match pitch algorithm on the right hand side here. So this is effectively matching the dub to the pitch of the guide. I'm going to leave that on because the actual pitch of some of the notes on the dub is slightly off. And again, this is all going to make the final product sound a lot more polished. Now let's have a listen to what we can do if we double our track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan this one down the center and I'm going to duplicate it. And what I want to do with this track is I want to make a low formant vocal to give it sort of a, a modern sound. So let's have a listen to this vocal now, which is an exact duplicate, but we're putting this one down the center. Whoa. So effectively what we're doing here is we are creating a artificial vocal with the vocal line ultra parameters on the right here. I've transposed it down basically two octaves and I've also brought the format right down. I could probably adjust the format a tiny bit. Let's have a listen. Whoa. Okay, so now I've actually created a vocal from an existing vocal. And although in just solo, it might sound a little bit strange in context, this down the center will help the vocals cut through and punch in this mix because there's a lot of elements in this mix. So now we have both of these tuned and I'm gonna put these back to hard left and this one's already hard right. And this is our center vocal, which we've put the ultra algorithm to transpose it down to octaves. Let's have a listen now to the whole thing in context. Whoa. 
So really quite magical stuff happening there with Vocaline Ultra. And with Studio One, it goes even further. And using the VST insert down here, it just makes it so, so quick for editing the tuning and also the alignment of your vocals. So I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.